hi guys and welcome back to my channel and so in today's video we will be putting away the boys clothes i will just be giving you a glimpse as to what i do on laundry day um so i did not have to uh, laundry wash clothes that is today but i did have clothes that needed to be put away and so with having twins i like to simplify things by putting the two boys items together and then putting them all on one hanger and that is what I'm actually doing now, taking two pairs of pants and putting on one hanger, everything that matches. Because every day I have to put them on the same outfit. <laughs> and so then here I am putting them in the closet and I just try to keep them organized. And with the jeans, I just do the bottoms because they don't all the time fit on those little hangers. And I do a similar technique with the tops. Just put them on individual hangers, of course, but I keep them all together, those that are matching, so that they can go in a closet at the same time. And I believe I've seen this method first with Love Meg, um, how she just put everything on top of one another just so she could have it all together and do it all at the same time, as you see here. And I do find when putting the tops back into the closet to have them color coordinated, it just makes it a little bit easier when I'm trying to figure out exactly what they're going to wear for the following day. I also absolutely do no ironing for the boys. As soon as it comes out of the dryer, it goes right onto the hanger and into the closet. And so while putting the boys clothes away, I realized I have a rod without a curtain and decided to go ahead and put a curtain up there today. And so for Christmas, the boys both received comforter sets, one Batman and one Superman. Thanks, Aunt Shell and Uncle Jay. <laughs> and I'm not one for using top sheets, so I decided to use the top sheet as my curtain. So I decided to cut the fabric or the sheet in half and then use tie backs. And everything I need is in the house. So I found this uh, gift bag and decided to take the string from there and use those as my tie backs. And of course, I could not just stop with the superhero themed curtains. I used this cardboard that came in the packaging of the comforter set to DIY superhero artwork. And so I found two of these picture frames from Target, um, but I found them in a thrift store. I paid $3 each for them and decided to use this frame to do my superhero theme artwork.
Now, I'm not quite sure what I did with the Batman's um, packaging that the comforter came in. But I did have a tablecloth from my boy's birthday party from last year. And so I decided to cut a piece of that off in this plastic and package it around this cardboard like it's a gift. And with the Batman curtains already up, now it was Superman's turn. So my plan was to do with these Superman curtains, the same thing that I did with the Batman curtains, which was to find a pocket, but there is no pocket. So on to plan B, which I do not have as of yet. Even, yeah, though, I was thinking about, that. even though I was thinking about maybe making tabs and tying them i wish i had some clips because i could just clip them up but i do not so stay tuned to see what i come up with so i decided to do another no sew by using double-sided tape and I have a sewing machine, but I did not feel like going through all of that. <laughs> so double-sided tape will do the trick. Now, to be honest, the only thing I had on my schedule to do today for the boys' room was to put away their clothes. Now, how I get curtains for their closet and their two windows and make pictures, I have no idea. But that's what we do as mothers. Thank <laughs> you.